Hey there guys, welcome back to another video here at Top Tier Garage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the valves on a 2006 Honda Foreman Rubicon 500ccs. This is step one of the restoration and bringing this thing back to its new found glory. Stay tuned. So in order to get to this position here, you basically have to rip off all the plastics and remove the tank. So here are the factory plastics. They are basically held in by a bunch of these little plastic rivets. I guarantee some of them will be gone and missing. But when you're, put, when you're tearing it apart, make sure that you go gentle on it and that you don't pull because there's a lot of hidden ones and you can wreck, up, wreck your plastics pretty bad. And then on top, you move your breather that goes to your air box and the piece of rubber that goes underneath it by removing, uh, it's like a Phillips head, and that whole thing, that whole assembly basically slides off. What I did when I removed this tank, I did pull the line off the carb and drained some of the gas out so that it's a lot lighter, more manageable. You can keep it connected underneath there. You just have to put it to your front rack. And then you'll finally get to this point. And as you can see, mice made its way in here. This was a farm four-wheeler, so I kind of expected... I mean, look at that tank. Freaking gross. This thing's never got a bath in its entire life. So now the next thing is to remove this plastic cover. The intake, you have to remove this also once you're ready to adjust the valves and your valves will be directly behind here. All right, so in order to get this guy off, they are hooked in through the front. You kind of pull those back. You do not remove these. So you pull these up and you kind of fold them back just like that. Then right here, there will be a cable harness that goes on the underside. Squeeze it together with the pliers of some sort and push it back through the hole. Disconnect your throttle lines and I'm not exactly sure what that line is. But then once that's done, you can easily pivot it out the left hand side of the four wheeler. And then everything will be exposed. Here's your Right underneath this cover here is your exhaust valves. Right under here is your intake valves. So now. All right, so once you pull your spark plug off, there are your valves. Those are your exhaust valves right there. And those are your intake valves. So in order to get it in its relaxed state, you need to line up the T with the mark on the side, that's as close as I could get it, with that little mark. So it's not exactly top dead center, it is a smidge off. But once you're in this state, zoom back out, your, your rockers can move. Now, I adjusted these valves already off camera. They weren't loose like a lot of people would say they were. A lot of them were tightened they were too tight, I should say. So now I'll show you how to check the clearances on each of the valve sets. All right, so in order to check your intake valves, 0.06, it's gonna be really hard to do, but I, I bend my feeler gauges. And then you just try and flip it, sit it in between, and you should just feel a, just the slightest drag in between it. You don't want it to be really tight. You just want to be able to like, it'll graze each side. It also has a clearance of plus or minus a thousandth of an inch. So if you really want to get it in depth, you can actually switch from the 0 0.006 and then 0 0.005 or go one larger to 0 0.007. And if the 0 0.007 does not fit, that means it's dead on. 
and that you should be good. But yeah, just a, it's kind of just you got to feel for it. But then you check both of them, and then you loosen this 10 mil nut on the top side, and then you use a wrench and just a flat blade screwdriver, and then you crank it back down in order to tighten them. All right, so now the same exact thing on the exhaust side, but you're going to use a 0.009, 9 thousandths of an inch. Can't really. 9 thousandths of an inch or 0.2. Three millimeters. So this is actually a larger gap than the intake side. So and it's the same exact procedure. Where you, you, you can kind of hear it. Just a slight drag, where you can easily slide it in and out, and just check that on both sides, and then you're done. That's exactly how you check the valves on a 2006. On the Foreman Rubicon. Now, I would highly suggest that you bring your tank over and button everything back up here and bring your tank back over, set it in here, and then try and start it without all the plastics on to make sure that your valves aren't ticking as bad as they were before. Now, I did try that already and I started it, but it's, the, I don't know if it's just the Honda engine that's just like crazy loud or if it is actually a valve issue because these valves are adjusted absolutely perfectly and I'm still getting a lot of like drivetrain noise. So we'll put it back down and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So after a tad bit of cleaning and get rid of, getting rid of the mouse nest here, in order to get this on, you slide it in from the left hand side. There's a pin that locks it on this side. This rubber, there's a rubber grommet that goes through there. This is that wiring harness that pushes through there. They both clip in on the front side of it. And there's also a clip right here, and this is how the cables are routed. Here is your choke, and here is your throttle. They run right next to each other through that nice tray. And next step is to put the gas tank on. All right, so once you have the gas tank, in place, the line is routed up through two little clamps right there and right over there and also secured by two 10 mil bolts on the front side. And then uh, the petcock sits right down there and the line is ran right through that lower plastic sheet underneath that and hooked up to the carb. And I also have to put that on yet. So now once you get to this point, I would highly Highly suggest to try and start it to see how it sounds. Make sure nothing sounds too terrible. So once that fuel line is hooked up the correct way with the clamp on, turn your petcock to on, which is in the downward position. Then I'm just gonna go and start it from here. Or not. Oh, it has to suck a lot of gas into the carb, so. Need some choke. There she is. So there you go. That is how you adjust the valves on a 2006 Honda TRX 500 Foreman Rubicon. Thanks for watching. Until next time.